Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into how to successfully prepare for an interview for the position of support secretary at NHS. If you're a fresher with a degree or postgraduate degree, this video will guide you through 20 potential interview questions along with strategic sample answers to help you stand out. Let's get started. Question 1. Can you tell us about yourself? Sample answer. I recently graduated with a degree in health administration. During my studies, I completed an internship at a local clinic, where I developed strong administrative skills and a deep understanding of healthcare operations. I am passionate about supporting healthcare professionals and am eager to contribute to efficient service delivery at NHS. Question 2. Why do you want to work for the NHS? Sample answer. The NHS's commitment to excellence and patient care deeply resonates with me. I admire its efforts in promoting inclusion and diversity, which I believe are essential for delivering quality health care. Working here would allow me to contribute to a vital public service while growing professionally in a supportive and dynamic environment. Question 3. What makes you suitable for this role as a support secretary? Sample answer. My academic background and internship experience have equipped me with the necessary skills such as managing sensitive information, multitasking, and handling administrative tasks efficiently. My proficiency in MS Office and my fast typing skills align perfectly with the job requirements stated in the job description. Question 4. How do you handle confidential information? Sample answer. Confidentiality is crucial, especially in healthcare. At my previous internship, I handled patient data and ensured it was secured and only shared with authorized personnel. I strictly follow data protection regulations and understand the importance of maintaining privacy and trust. Question 5. Describe a time when you had to manage a challenging situation. Sample answer. During my internship, I once faced a situation where the clinic was overbooked, and patients were becoming restless. I calmly informed them about the delay, ensured they were comfortable, and communicated regularly about wait times, which helped in managing the situation effectively without escalating tensions. Question 6. How do you ensure clear communication when dealing with patients and healthcare providers? Sample answer. I always ensure to speak clearly and listen actively. For complex information, I confirm understanding by summarizing or asking for confirmation. With healthcare providers, I ensure all communication is documented and followed up via email or our internal system to avoid any miscommunications. Question 7. What do you understand by the 18-week RTT process? Sample answer. The 18-week referral to treatment RTT, process is a performance measure by NHS to ensure that patients receive their first treatment within 18 weeks from the referral. Understanding and adhering to this guideline is crucial to help manage patient expectations and service delivery effectively. Question 8. Can you explain how you would handle upset patients or relatives? Sample answer. I believe in listening actively to their concerns and acknowledging their feelings. I would explain the situation clearly and sympathetically, ensuring they understand that their concerns are being addressed. Maintaining professionalism and empathy is key in such interactions. Question 9. What is your approach to learning new software or systems? Sample answer. I am very proactive when it comes to learning new systems. For example, during my degree, I took extra courses on healthcare informatics that required learning new software. I use online tutorials and practice extensively to ensure I can use new tools effectively and efficiently. Question 10. How do you ensure accuracy in your work? Sample answer. I double-check my work and maintain a detailed checklist for all daily tasks. This systematic approach ensures accuracy, whether I'm entering data, scheduling appointments, or handling correspondence. I also ask for feedback to ensure continuous improvement. Question 11. 
How would you manage a high volume of tasks during peak times? Sample answer. In times of high workload, I prioritize tasks based on their impact and urgency. For instance, during my internship, when faced with multiple tasks, I would handle urgent patient needs first while scheduling other tasks throughout the day. Regular communication with my team also ensures that everyone is aware of priorities and deadlines. Question 12. What do you consider the key to effective teamwork in a medical secretary role? Sample answer. Effective communication and respect for each other's roles are vital. I believe in supporting my colleagues wherever possible, ensuring that our common goal of patient care is prioritized. During my academic projects, I always took the initiative to bridge communication gaps and ensure everyone's contribution was valued. Question 13. Can you give an example of how you have handled a difficult phone call? Sample answer. Once, at my internship, I received a call from an agitated patient who had been waiting for a test result. I listened patiently, empathized with their situation, and assured them I would personally follow up. I obtained the information swiftly and called them back with the details, which helped calm the situation and build trust. Question 14. How do you maintain accuracy while audio typing? Sample answer. I ensure accuracy in audio typing by using high-quality headphones and transcription software, and by reviewing the text as I type. I also familiarize myself with medical terminology to reduce errors and increase efficiency. Question 15. Describe how you would prepare for an important meeting. Sample answer. To prepare for an important meeting, I gather all necessary documents and information ahead of time. I ensure that the meeting room is set up with the necessary technology and refreshments. I also prepare an agenda and distribute it to all participants beforehand to ensure everyone is aligned and can contribute effectively. Question 16. What do you do if you find a mistake in a document that has already been sent out? Sample answer. If I discover a mistake in a document that has been distributed, I would immediately notify my supervisor and assess the impact of the error. I would then take appropriate steps to correct the error, such as sending a revised document with a clear explanation of the amendment. Question 17. What strategies do you use to handle multiple deadlines? Sample answer. I use a digital planner to keep track of all deadlines and set reminders for critical dates. This helps me manage my workload systematically. I also communicate with my supervisors about my progress, which helps in adjusting priorities if needed. Question 18. How would you deal with a data breach or confidentiality issue? Sample answer. If I encountered a data breach, I would immediately inform my supervisor and follow the trust's procedures for such incidents. I understand the importance of acting swiftly to minimize damage and ensure that all steps are taken to secure data and prevent future breaches. Question 19. What motivates you to perform well in your job? Sample answer. My primary motivation is knowing that my work directly impacts the quality of patient care. The satisfaction of supporting healthcare professionals and contributing to a system that benefits the community gives me great pride and encourages me to always strive for excellence. Question 20. Why should we hire you over other candidates? Sample answer. I bring not only the required educational qualifications and hands-on internship experience but also a passionate commitment to healthcare and patient service. My ability to adapt quickly, work under pressure, and communicate effectively are assets that I believe will contribute greatly to the efficiency and effectiveness of your team. Thank you for watching. I hope these questions and answers help you feel more prepared for your interview with the NHS. Good luck, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. See you in the next one.